Hello YouTube and welcome to Gadget X-Ray. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install and set up some emulator on your Apple TV coming up after this brief intro. Alright, so first we need to navigate to this URL and enter your Apple ID, the one you use for your Mac and we are going to convert it to a developer option by agreeing to Apple's term services. Once we agree, let's go to SDK Xcode download and let's open it on the App Store. Let's download it and install it. Alright, so let's open it up and let's set up our account. Uh, let's go to Xcode, Preferences, Account, the plus button, and Apple ID. Enter your Apple ID that you just used and convert. And voila, our Xcode is going to be set up with our Apple ID. Second, we need to download the files from the description. And while it's downloading, make sure to plug in your Apple TV. Once the download is finished, uh, move it to the desktop and open the white file, this one here. All right, so I'll, uh, wait for it to load and let's look for provenance on the side left of our panel. Right here. Okay, let's uh, choose Provenance TV from here, from this menu. This is very essential. Again, choose Provenance TV. Once it's selected, we need to go here and change the middle name here with a custom name of our choice. We're going to erase this one here. And then we're going to call it 1234GX. You can call it anything you want. And here on the bottom, just leave all of this, but change uh, your username, uh, like the one we did for the Apple TV. And now let's uh, choose Provenance TV releases and choose your Apple TV. Mine is called Great Room. Yours should be Apple TV. Click the fix button and it's going to fix this message here. Once it's done, now we can send the file to our Apple TV. It's going to take a little bit of time, just a little bit of patience. All right, once we see the build is succeeded, that's mean we have our file transferred and it's going to open up uh, automatically. If not, you can open it uh, with your uh, Siri remote. Awesome. We got our emulator working and now we need to import some ROMs. You can find them on Google uh, and uh, this app is really handy. It's give us an IP address we can enter in Safari and we can import all our games that we have downloaded or bought earlier. All right, so I entered my IP address there and go to the folder ROM and upload the file that you want to play. I already have one here in my desktop, Super Mario Yoshi Island for SNES. All right, it's a very small file. It's already done. Let's stop here and play our game. found out that this emulator works really well and the graphics, the sound, everything is good. You can use your Siri remote to control the game, but I highly uh, recommend to use a gaming controller because uh, Siri uh, remote is not made for uh, precision and this game Mario, if you played any of your Mario games, you probably would think about uh, getting a controller. So let's uh, exit this game and let's uh, set up our controller. Let's go to settings and uh, let's look for controller settings and let's choose player one. Let's have our Apple controller, an MFI certified controller. And I don't have a second controller, so I'm going to say no player. OK, let's try our game. Okay.
this controller worked really well uh, I got it from Apple uh, this is an certified controller and this makes playing uh, games a lot more awesomer if you are a fan of Mario you should definitely <laughs> play this game uh, this kind of tells the story about how Mario was born and all of those kind of mysterious story behind Mario well hope you guys like this video and if you want to help the channel please subscribe and like the video see you in the next one